This hill is becoming a bit spoiled. Hanging out in the garage. It rained all night. We still haven't fixed his dog house where we think he'll get in it. So we've been letting him kind of come in. Um, there's some treat monsters. I guess we should just go ahead and feed them some treats and then they'll leave me alone. So he's been hanging out in here. I'm about to kick him out because it stopped raining. I'm a little bit late because it has been raining all morning and I knew it was gonna stop. It's kind of got some other things done. Hi, kitties. Yeah. Here you go. Here's some for you. Here's some for you. My guess is when I'm done, they're gonna want more. Uh, yeah. Not a lot going on this weekend. We just got a new RoboMo for the back. So we've been buying our robot lawnmowers off Amazon that are returns. And so we've been getting them at like half off and we've been kind of watching, waiting for another one just like this one because mowing over here has become a challenge. Every lawnmower being broken and just, so hopefully this will help solve our problem. These guys haven't left. So they're unhappy because they're hungry, but they're not like, they haven't left the barn. You haven't, hi Milo. Hi guys, are you hungry? I had to get out and eat some grass today, even though it's wet. You are. Oh, nope. Nope, says mom. All right guys, let's have some breakfast. not much I can do today. It's gonna be pretty soggy. I don't really have any projects to work on. So I think I'm gonna try to clean up a little bit today. I've got some stuff sitting out that needs to be kind of put up, like this pile. Stuff needs to be put in the garage or hung up. There are some tubs underneath the deck that have filled up with water that I need to dump out because mosquitoes. I need to replace the boys' water with the bigger water. And then we need to clean out water buckets. So just some cleanup things today. I've got to pick all the nets up so that know where we're gonna put the net and then run the mower line so that it mows where the net isn't gonna be. And if we need to mow inside the net, then we'll probably just bring the zero turn over and do that. Well, good morning, soggy wet pig. The piggles don't mind the rain. They're getting all wet, Just your bowls. Buddies. This rain is good. Your grass is starting to grow. It's starting to grow up tall. It is. You guys are gonna have to eat a little faster. So what I'll be able to do is put the other dog water in for the boys because pork chop was tipping it over. And so that'll allow them to have some more water. It's also time where we can start thinking about breeding Zelda and Pixie. So we'll be watching for one of them to go into heat. Well, the only way I got Zelda bred last time was to stick her in with the bucks for a month because I couldn't really tell. We may do that again. I'll have to start planning how that's gonna work. The easiest thing to do would be to add a buck that I didn't want to breed her with to the pigs and the little bucks and then put her in with whatever buck I wanted in the buck house. The problem with that is 
one of the big bucks right up against the grill. So I may have to wait until I get my new nets, which I'm gonna order probably this weekend, so that I can kind of create a barrier here and just make sure there's enough separation between all parties. Buns, are you in heat? Probably. Everybody can be free. Bunny's definitely in heat. The grass is getting long in here. It's the kind of funky part of the year where there's not a whole lot going on. And what's been really interesting to me about this place is because we kind of built it from scratch and it wasn't an already, uh, if you watch our older videos for our other farm, it wasn't an established place. It was never a farm. Um, I mean, it was, but many, many years ago before the house was here, there were cows here. All the fence is brand new, the barn is brand new. We've bought everything specifically for our setup. So we're like, I feel like at the other farm, it was a constant battle of like projects and all of that. This place is like, relatively low maintenance and there's not really anything right now to do for the girls. We just went through worming. Uh, I'll be tattooing babies here pretty soon. So Toffee, Coco, Toot Toot, and Milo are all five to six weeks old. So we're about halfway through them being here. So at 10 weeks, we will let Toot Toot and Toffee go to their new homes when Toffee turns 10 weeks, which is like the end of May. Coco and Milo, Coco is going by herself. So she'll be able to go the, like the first week in June. My others will stay longer. So Milo is gonna go tiny. So he'll be here until the triplets are ready to go. And then, which will be probably toward the end of June. And Boone and Crockett are mid to late June as well. Everybody I think other than Boone and Crockett are going registered. I need to do CD&Ts. We'll probably do those in the next week or so. I'm sorry that I have not been milking. I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed that last year. I've explained this in other videos, but maybe I've not like explained it well. I haven't been milking number one because my pump is broken and to be honest with you I don't usually milk until school's out I don't enjoy in March in April and May milking before work because work is so crazy for me right now and I know I've talked about that but it is like I'm working longer hours uh, there's a lot going on I'm very tired when I come home and once school is out I'll start milking because I can still get up when I want and, and start milking or we'll start milking as babies go to their new homes I just whacked her with the rake so now she's really upset that is why I haven't been milking, but we will start doing that eventually. But it's really time to finally clean up a lot of the leftover winter things like hay bags, pitchforks, this cat, guys. So we never had a cat that was not a feral cat, basically like a stray before it came to us. And if you guys don't know, Dottie uh, was one of our kittens last year. And so we've had like Hank and Cheeto, who both were kittens, but they were boy cats. And they both passed away when they were kittens. She's a year old. She's aggressively friendly with me. She never shows up when they're visitors, uh, but she is a treat monster. Oh, something else. You guys have been asking about merch. If you didn't know, we have merch in our um, description and let me show you. So we have a pig, like t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve shirts. I have the long sleeve on, they're all through Teespring. I have a goat and a cow. And some of you guys are asking if we're gonna like update merch. I plan on updating merch this summer. So once work is out for me, I'm gonna work on some just totally new designs for merch, probably late May, early June when I'm out of work and I can kind of work on that a little bit more because I want the designs to be really good and I designed everything in our merch store. I drew all the designs and so I don't use someone else to draw the designs or we would probably have more updated merch more often. But we are gonna do that. Well, I got everything cleaned up. I got my ne nets picked up. I got the boys water changed out. I just gave them a bigger water because when it gets hotter, they drink more water and I don't want them to not have water during the day because I'm at work. It really hasn't been bad now that it's been the two of them. These guys are out here doing some grazing, trying to convince these guys to stay out here. They all came all the way down when I was picking the nets up, hoping I was gonna let them out. And now getting them to stay out here has been ridiculous. Hi, Crockett. Hi, Booney Bear. Hi. 
Nice boom. Babies want to be out playing. Tiny was throwing fit because everybody was out and she got lost. And this is my snuggle bug lately. Have you been my snuggle bug? So it is gross and wet, so I don't really want to be out here. I'm already pretty much soaked from the knees down. So I'm gonna go in for a while and hopefully this afternoon it'll be sunny and we'll get out here and play with these guys a little bit. We've got to have our toot toot time, don't we? Hi Pepperoni and Tinkerbell. I'm Tweety Girl. Milo is not harassing me right now, which is amazing. I'm gonna go in and clean my own house and hopefully these guys will stay outside. We'll see. Okay, so we went over to the other house today and fixed the mower and did some other things. And I got back, uh, look who's all not where they're supposed to be. Pixie, what are you doing? So now I've got to figure out how to get waffles and the pigs separated. Link, not a huge issue if he stays, but yeah, waffles cannot stay in here. I'm hoping we don't have any unplanned pregnancy going on. Bunny, I think, was the only one that was in heat. Now I've got to figure out how to wrangle these guys. So I'm gonna set you guys down and we'll figure out how to make this work. Can y'all leave this alone? Okay, Tony, come on. actually solves our problem. The next thing that I may try to do is run waffles in with the boys. Hi, toot toot. I know. And then if I do that, the pigs can come in and out all they want and it doesn't matter because Link can hang out with them, but waffles will need to be in with the bucks. And I'm not really sure how to do that. Probably the easiest thing to do would be to feed everyone and see if I could get him to go in with the bucks but he will share with Toonie, so I don't know. Problem is, I probably can't catch him. Oh, oh that's it. I got you. We'll have to keep an eye on them and make sure that they don't harass them too much. Really, they should be okay. He's plenty big enough to be in with them now. He doesn't smell like girls and he has testicles, so he's gonna smell like another buck. So they really should all be fine. He really needs a copper and a worm. It's so funny how much he looks like Luke. That's done. That means this gate can just be opened during the day. Everybody can graze. Pigs can be out, goats can be out, and Link will just move back in with girls. So now I'm just gonna take this down because now nobody can go get water in the barn. But now pigs can be out, goats can be out. So we'll just kinda see how this goes for a couple of days. But now I've eliminated my worry. And my biggest worry is that he would have impregnated Tink or like his mom. Goats are wild. Hi baby.
already had a shower because I got gross over the other house. I don't know why. You guys. Y'all are just so wild. Okay, goodbye. I'm get out here and graze. Are you being a good girl? So well, we all got out, Mom. Okay, let's see how getting everyone into the correct spots for sleeping is gonna go. Link is over here, but I don't see pigs. So Link has come over here because he's looking for his buddy. Pigs! I got one pig. Toonie, come on. You don't live in there. Come on, Toonie. Come on, pork chop. Come on. Come on, pork chop. I don't have any food or anything. I'll have every goat if I have food. This is not gonna always go this way. Obviously, you guys really enjoyed last week's video where it was like mass chaos. I know, but you're gonna wanna sleep in your own pig house. <laughs> Come on, pork chop. Come on, pork choppers. I don't have any food. That was interesting. We'll see how everybody feels tomorrow. Hi, bud. Good night. Good night, pig pigs. They oh, bent. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Not exactly the idea. Come on, Duke. Come on. Well, that was nice to not have to feed the pigs and get them back in. They don't need anything and less chaos with these guys. They're not gonna be happy about it. And tomorrow it will not go that smoothly. They cause me enough trouble. Hi. All right, let's do a head count. Make sure everybody's okay. Oh, I have my tube tube. Oh, my tube tube. Yes. Hi, oh, pepperoni. Hi, Nana Beer. Hi, Milo. Tinkerbell. Coco. Where's to Toffee? And her mom, Padme. Triplets. And Boone and Crockett. Let's make sure. Oh, the pollen is bad. Everybody has runny eyes. Yes. I know. Toffs. Has still not forgiven me. Triplets, Boone and Crockett. There's still water that the babies can drink. I think you guys are good. I think you're good for tonight. <laughs>